This is the Minecraft Hunters, and their task is to catch me in the ice apocalypse. And if they succeed, they win a thousand dollars. I need to go through all the arctic locations to get to the balloon that will save my life. There will be more hunters every day until there is 100 of them. My plane crashed in the wilderness of some winter location, and this is where the new hunters will begin. Well, this time we'll definitely catch you. Well, we'll see about that. Helicopters. I just need to understand how to drive this thing. I'm giving you five seconds to get out of here. Oh my god, wow! Okay, it's time to run! I gotta run, I gotta run! Okay, 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 let's jump! Okay, I just need to keep running! Don't look back, come on, just run! The first thing I had to do was get away from them. One of the new features of these hunters are traps that are prepared on the map and marked with an exclamation point. Oh, guys, it's a trap! Great! Okay, I see another lever that can help me. Thanks to the first two traps, I was able to get away from the hunters. Be careful! Oh my god! I knew from the very beginning that we wouldn't catch him. Quick, give me a pickaxe. No, here's the hunters I like. Okay, we gotta go. The helicopters can't even hit me. First of all, I was able to escape. My first task was to get into the open world, where I can get resources, find loot, and also make myself some armor. Since we were in the ice, there was a huge number of abandoned buildings, giant bridges, and vehicles on the map. But to get there, I need to overcome one more location. It was a giant ice ravine. Look at the size of this cave! The helicopters are coming for me! Okay, I see a box. Okay, excellent! There's even a gun here! Great! Okay, I feel like I need to go through all of this. I was able to slow down three of the hunters, but the helicopters are absolutely impossible to stop. I need to run even faster. Oh, the helicopter is already here! Yes! I destroyed the helicopter! Let's go! Okay, there's a minecart over here! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, I see a trap. Okay, I just need to hit the lever. I just destroyed the railroad. Not even a minute passed before I noticed the hunters again. Okay, I gotta run, I gotta run. It's not too bad, as long as we manage to survive in peace. Okay, I don't want to end up like this skeleton, so let's go. Further down, the final tunnel awaited me, in which there was a trap that completely cut me off from the hunters. The first test is in our favor. We were finally able to get away from them. Come on, guys. Why did everything blow up here? How can we get on the other side now? Quick, get me some blocks. I got a pickaxe. Go get the blocks yourself. What will I do with this wooden pick? I managed to get into the open world, to a location called the Frozen Ocean. What a cool location, look! Okay, okay, I don't think they'll catch up with me anytime soon. In any case, it's better not to stay near this cave, especially when there's such large-scale buildings all around. But of course, in addition to buildings, in this world there were also dangerous monsters that looked pretty small, but dangerous. Six ammo and a cardboard chest plate. Now I have a cardboard chest plate, dynamite, and of course, a drill. Okay, that's it. After looking for loot, I got some wood and made my first crafting table. I needed to develop develop as quickly as possible, because the more time we spend in this world, the more hunters will appear on the map. Is it just me, or is that a bat flying at me right now? What was that about? Look, there is still some kind of icy scorpion. Okay, I don't know if these mobs are serious or not, but there's a lot of them, and that definitely won't be good. The first day was coming to an end. I noticed an icy ship and decided to loot it. Guys, I think we need some kind of plan. Hi, Vladkop. So, subscribers commented under the last video that we hunters don't know how to play. Do we really want to disgrace ourselves to the fullest or what? Apparently there's also barriers up between the locations. Hold up! We won't be able to do anything! We urgently need to build a base! Yeah, because we don't even have anywhere to store our resources! Because Zemon, Zemon, he's just crazy! The hunters decided to take a small step back, then to take a huge step forward, prepare the base and of course the ground for the next hunters that will appear. And the more hunters appear, the more difficult it's gonna be for me to survive. Hmm, look who we have here, Captain Icicle. Oh, hello, I am Captain Icicle, and welcome to my ship. I would need your help right now, ready? Uh, what happened? My dog climbed onto the bridge, but my back is sore, I can't get it myself. Help the old man, I will not remain in debt. For the sake of saving my Levontius, take what you need from the ship. As you can already understand, all locations have additional tasks as well as NPCs. By completing quests, I can get rare useful items that can increase my chance of escaping from the hunters. It'll not be easy for me to win in this video, and I need to turn on to the fullest, because the more time passes, the stronger the hunters become. Yeah, of course. Now I'm going to save a dog while the hunters are chasing me down. Let's see what's in the boxes over here. Okay, ammo, box 
bottles of water and chocolate ice cream. While I was looking through the chest, it was already dark, so I decided to wait out the night with the captain of the ship and save his dog tomorrow. Second day, two new people joined the hunters and they also completed their base. Now seven players will try to catch me and the number will grow non-stop. By the way, we still haven't presented our hunters, so let's do it now. Here we have RC. Hi all. Vladkob. Yes, yes, it's me. Yankees. Hi all. Hamster Grizzly. I want pizza. And also today we have two new team members. This is Zinia Klaki and Seryoga G1 Topic. What's up all? What's up? The hunters were planning to dig that ravine in order to conveniently and quickly get to my location. But things got much more interesting for me. Attention, the map has been updated. Now a huge number of banknotes appear throughout the location. Collect as many as you can so you can open the path to the next location. You can get to it along the road from the bridge. Here it is, the real money Minecraft fever. As you understand, a huge number of bills spawn all over the map. I need to collect a lot of them, though how many, I don't know yet. But if I hesitate, I'll fall into the paws of the hunters. Smells like money. First earned banknote in this survival. But first, I think we need to save the dog. There he is, look! Oh wait, there's another hundred bucks here. Nice. I decided to dig up some iron, make a bucket of water, and carefully lower the dog. Captain Icicle thanked me. He gave me a cool gun and also a piece of armor. But with all these tasks, I forgot that I was being chased by the hunters, who had already almost reached me. Oh wait! Oh my god, the hunters are already here! I didn't wait for them to notice me. Okay, the first one's gone. To my surprise, the hunters reacted very quickly. The question is whether they can also quickly defeat me. Okay, I got Grizzly. Okay, here he is. Vladkop is with us. Look, he's still hitting me. Okay, my ammo is already running out. Okay, Anton, you won't kill me today. You're such a noob, I think you'll die on your own. We'll see about that. Oh, whoa, I killed Anton. Despite all the success, I was already running out of ammo, and I certainly didn't have as much ammo as the Hunters. And I remind you that the Hunters can also respawn an infinite number of times, while I'm playing in full hardcore. Okay, yes, one, two. Okay, I got it. Okay, friends, this is full hardcore. I wouldn't say that the Hunters were well prepared this time, but perhaps everything will change when the secret guests enter the world. Wait, what? Seriously? You thought I ran into the city? Okay, of course, no matter how much the Hunters prepare, they never manage to catch me. At the moment, the weather conditions on the map changed. The snowstorm event started. Movement becomes more difficult. Visibility deteriorates. And of course, very strong wind sounds are added. And the blizzard played into my my hands. If ordinary hunters can still notice me, the helicopter is unlikely to be able to see anything. I figured this was a great chance to keep going, collect those bucks, and move on to the next location. Look at this blizzard! My ears will get blocked from this wind. I don't know how many hunters are here right now, but I remind you that despite everything, we still need to look for that money. Most likely, all the hunters will not be looking for me at the moment. They saw that it was quite difficult to deal with me, rather they need to extract resources in order to improve their armor. But I think that a couple of scouts definitely remained at this location, so I had to be careful. While I was exploring the location, a huge bat attacked me again. Okay, stop. What are you going to do to me? She doesn't know how to get to me. One problem, I only have one chocolate ice cream left. Until the end of the day, I continue to explore the boxes. By the way, I found very good loot and also decided to run into one of the skyscrapers, the only place where it didn't snow in this location. And since it was pretty bright in there, I decided to wait out the night. But the hunters were not going to stop. During that night, they improved the base. And in the morning, three more hunters joined their team. In total, there is already 10 players who are trying to catch me. On the next day, the blizzard passed and I began to collect banknotes. Without the blizzard they were more visible and things went uphill i even began to feel like a millionaire it's a pity only in this survival you can't buy yourself a lambo i noticed the glow on the bridge it turns out that there were secret rooms it's a little bit high over here whoa i can see the whole location after looting around the bridge i added another 1050 bucks i hope i collected enough bills to go to the next location so i decided to check it out oh i see some text ahead to open the location pay 2000 bucks oh okay that's perfect I couldn't just simply get through because there are barrier blocks ahead, but we had $2,000, so it's fine. 
The next location was called Dinosaur Valley. Once these huge animals lived here, but at some point the ice apocalypse came and froze everything. This location uses a global mod for dinosaurs. I can tame these dinosaurs, and most importantly, they can help me fight the hunters. There is a volcano in the middle of the location. My task is to melt it so that it melts the entire place. That's the only way I can move on. Notification for the hunters. Z-Man has moved into the next location. What? You guys see this too? What the hell? What is the next location? We have only explored this one halfway. How can we find it? And where did he go? It seems I got to the new location, guys. Something tells me that the skeleton is some creature. Oh, oh my god, who are they? What, what is this Dracula? Oh my god, they can teleport! 3 HP, 3 HP, 3 HP, guys! At first glance, the location was not friendly. I was attacked by a huge number of some monsters. I spent all my strength dealing with them. All my guns are basically out of ammo. But it's good that at least I'm alive, and it seems that it'll be night soon. Let's take a look at where I am. Apparently, this is really the skeleton of some kind of dinosaur. Surely there were some excavation of dinosaur skeletons here before, because I found a geological hammer and some book. It contained a huge amount of information about different dinosaurs. Tell me, do I look like a dinosaur? Or at least like Chewbacca? In another tent, I found a book with a pen, which said that the volcano is the key to the puzzle. At the time, it didn't tell me anything. Revolver? I'm fine. Two stacks of ammo and two diamonds. Okay guys, we finally have something normal. With this, we may be able to defend ourselves from the hunters. I decided to quickly get some wood and get out of here as soon as possible because I knew that the hunters would go right after me. Look at that huge skeleton over there. I feel like this location is just enormous. While I was looking for a quiet place to sleep, the hunters also got to this location. Guys, finally found something. Apparently it's already looted as I understand it. Yeah, there's no loot left for us at all. Oh, found a note. Uh, well done. Of course, well done. But you will not be able to catch up with me. He calls us Teletubbies! He probably referring to you. What did you just say? This is our high point. We almost caught up with Z-Man. Well, at least I think so. So now, we're returning home, taking all our resources, and by tomorrow morning, we need to build a base here, with the help of which, we will catch Z-Man. New day. I spent the night in the mountain. Real dinosaurs began to appear throughout the location. Um, I don't know, but I think I'm seeing a real T-Rex right now. There are still some huge turtles over there. I don't know if the hunters are still here. But on the rock, you might think that there's no entrance. But there it is! Oh, these ghostly blocks are the real deal. I was going to equip my secret base a little later, and now it was time to get out and explore the location, because it has a huge number of different buildings, where most likely there is gonna be good loot, plus everything I needed to find a volcano. I didn't know where to find it yet though. Look, guys, check out this green area in the middle of the snow. Apparently there's hot springs over here, and there's several such territories, look. There are even cows grazing here, look how cute. Cow, if you see the hunters, let me know. Agreed? Oh my god, I just noticed that there's already 15 hunters. Yeah, the more I play, the more there's gonna be. Meanwhile, on the horizon, I see some kind of hell over there. Perhaps this is the volcano, but I'm not sure. I see some kind of observation tower and a building that's close enough to me. Let's get it over with quickly, very carefully. Of course, the first thing that caught my eye was the car. Too bad it didn't have gas. Look, there's a trap over here. T-Rex spawner. Well, let's not press it now. Armored defender of dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, this is what we need. Okay, let's take it, friends. Walking quill and pedal of life. What is this? You can tame any dinosaur with the help of Petals of Life. Dinosaurs will protect you from the hunters. Oh, so we can tame dinosaurs here? And in order to tame them, we need such Petals of Life. Okay, box. Bread, string, oh, what was that? Oh my god, the hunters are here, one and a half HP. Okay, I don't even know how many of them there are, and how did they find me? Okay, I see three, four, that's it, right here, I have two HP, oh my god, what do I do? There's more of them on the mountain, oh my god, I don't even know which way to run. And then I remembered that there's a trap on the first floor. The best option right now is to turn on the trap. Because of the trap, huge T-Rex has spawned around this house, which attacked the hunters. And thanks to this, I had a chance. Okay, 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 okay. We need to reload, guys. Are they pushing me? Okay, I took one. There's one more, there's one more, there's one more. One and a half HP, guys. The tactics of the hunters seem pretty strange to me. Very few people were pushing me. Everyone is mostly undercover. Surely no one wants to fight me first. But because of this, they're losing. They're still sitting on the 
tower over there. It's probably best not to fight them right now. I won't underestimate. Of course, each of their attacks was critical, but I still felt that I'm a few steps ahead. Okay, we have to go. We have to go. Okay, well, I'll forget about the car. I'll pick it up later. I have 4 HP. I have 4 HP. It's good that I had ghost blocks, because thanks to them, in one second, I was able to hide from the hunters. Wow, I have heart and a half. There's 15 hunters now. Then I can't imagine what will happen when there's gonna be 100 of them. Of course, one player against 100 hunters cannot survive and even me but we have a huge number of traps on the map new items that will most likely help us out with the hunters and most importantly the more the hunters die the more protection and damage i have well i feel like the hunters have retreated a bit for today yeah of course i give them one two three four five okay cow who do you think will win in this video Finally, I can do a little bit of survival, because we're constantly on the run. And plus, we need to go to that very volcano on which a couple hunters were sitting. Because something tells me that this is the volcano that we need. Alright, it was a good idea to come here, because I see two messages over there. To melt the ice, you need to throw a dinosaur tear into the lava. A needle in a haystack, but pretty close by. As far as I understand, the mission is above, and the clue is at the bottom. But how I'll get a dinosaur tear, I do not know. And the most most important question is, can the hunters interfere with this? There were some coal blocks on the volcano, which I didn't lose the opportunity to get. And after that, I was thinking where I could find that dinosaur tier. As I understand it, I need to study the location more carefully. And now is the most opportune moment for this. Till the end of the day, I wandered around the location. And to be honest, I saw a couple of scouts from the hunters. But I still managed to avoid a direct collision. Okay, so you understand. I didn't even go halfway around the entire map. And the most amazing thing that I found is only one note and get this there's only four words in it where is the snow it is everywhere what kind of hint is this my next goal was to build a cool base i didn't know how much time i'd spend in this location and plus in my opinion the hunters are losing a lot to me at the moment i had an idea for a long time to make a secret base inside which there will be a waterfall it turned out to be a really cool base with paintings a waterfall as well as my own personal farm yes my base is secret but there's still a risk of being found out so i decided decided to make a secret passage in my secret base, so to speak, an emergency exit. Of course, I haven't forgotten about the traps, and the hunters are likely to fall into it when they chase me, but their real exit is right before them. On the next day, there were 20 hunters, but apparently not everyone even had armor, so they saved up and collected resources. The only thing I had to be wary of was the helicopter. Oh look, a helicopter! Wow! If it had noticed me, I'd be in trouble. It's time to apply my first tactic. This tactic would take a very long time, but very safe. I decided to build an underground tunnel at some points in this location. Before my plan took action, I found an efficiency book in one of the houses. I made myself an anvil and enchanted my pick. Now the process will go much faster. I spent a whole day on this, but in this way, I could cover the distance completely unnoticed. The next day, I once again saw a couple of dinosaurs. Using looted petals, I was able to tame a couple, and now they will constantly fight the hunters. His name is Kesha, so let's settle Kesha somewhere here. Let him walk a bit. If the hunters come here, Kesha will quickly unwind them. While I was looking for petals, taming new dinosaurs, I was able to find a few more clues, and having collected them all into one, my puzzle was revealed. Guys, I collected four notes. Combining them all, I put together the following. Where the snow disappears all together. And where do you think the snow disappears on this map? Of course, these were the hot springs that were in our location. But before we go there, I want to draw your attention to this bedrock wall right here. We'll get there very carefully now. Let's see. You can't go any further at the moment. I think this is the exit from the location. And if- w wait, what if I just go through here? Well, of course my team put up barriers here. But there is something interesting over there, guys. Well, okay, we can't get to this location yet. We need to get rid of this bedrock as soon as possible in order to go further. Because something really interesting is over there. In the evening, while returning home, I saw hunters who were looking for me in full. These guys were obviously not 20 people. People, but small groups of three. We were close to the target and we just had to find that tier. And we even know where, but there's just a huge number of hunters all around me. After seeing the hunters yesterday, I'm even scared to go out. So far, thank god, I don't see anyone on the horizon. We must act very quickly because I feel that they're already here. 25 hunters! Just look, 25 people looking for me. Of course, already at the location, it was hard not to notice them. But right here next to me, there's the same geyser that we saw at the beginning of the episode. Let's try our luck here. I 
don't know how, but it was right here in the box in which I found that very tear of the dinosaur. Box! Guys! Dinosaur tear! Oh my god! The first geyser that we checked and I immediately found it! Now the most important thing was to get to the volcano and in this case I had a secret in store. A couple of days ago at the expedition camp I found a quad bike. So I decided to quickly move towards the volcano. Yeah guys, now this is how it's done. Okay, it just doesn't matter anymore. If they notice me, they'll notice me. The most important thing- Oh! Oh no no! They're shooting at me! Let's drink the potion of swiftness. The most important thing right now is to just throw a dinosaur tear and get out of here as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, I threw the tear, friends. Okay, what are those sounds? Okay, I see one, I see one, I see one. Here they are. Chris will play. Anton is still over there. Anton is over there. Okay, I got him. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. My main task right now is to get out of this location. At some point, the quad began to go very slowly. So I had to keep going on foot. Okay, the wall is gone. We need to go further. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I was teleported to the new zone. It was the icebreaker location. And not only me, but also all the hunters got teleported as well. Oh, uh, oh my god, where am I? Z-Man. Z-Man over there, guys. Yep, I got it. We're in some kind of barriers. Yeah, okay, it's pretty clear. Everything is clear with you guys. There's no way you're going to catch me today. How do we even get out of here? Guys, there's no way out of here. It's so funny to watch them. There is no way they can reach me. Although, on the other hand, I'm also stuck here. Hey, the hunters, look what's over there. What? What is it? That is a huge icebreaker. Maybe you forgot because of the dinosaurs, but we are in the ice apocalypse. And what is an ice apocalypse without a huge icebreaker? Today, a very important trial will be carried out with the hunters, and everything will depend on it. You will play hide and seek in the icebreaker. Hunters need to choose a total of eight people. If there are more hunters, they will lose. <laughs> Oh my god, just 8 of you out of like 20 people? <laughs> You do know that I alone will be enough to defeat you. I mean, maybe, but unfortunately, my barriers are gone. And, um, as I can see, yours are not. So good luck, I'm out of here. Choose eight people and I'll see you on the icebreaker. While the hunters couldn't decide who to go to catch me with Anton, I already climbed onto the icebreaker and read my personal notification. The hunt has begun. Your task is to hold out for 24 Minecraft hours on this icebreaker. If you press J, you will see your superpower. One whole day to hide here. Wait. Where did my hand go? Did I turn into a pot? And then the chances of survival rose rapidly, because a pot could hide absolutely anywhere. So you understand, this, this moving pot thing, this is me. And it's convenient that by pressing one key, I can turn back into myself. Okay, we're spending a lot of time. We need to quickly find some place where we can hide. Here's a signature characteristic of Z-Man, the stone pillar. That's it, let's split up throughout the ship and begin to look for him. Only you know what is unusual in this frame. Yeah, I climbed in here and turned into a pot. Okay, look who we have here. Okay, okay, do not attack the pots. It can be pretty dangerous. It hadn't even been half a day yet and I was already sweating a lot because the hunters were literally everywhere. Jeez, I gotta be careful. Quiet, quiet. Okay, that was just luck. Just luck, guys. It's a shame somehow that they all left and they left us here. I want some tea. Agreed. The hunters weren't stupid and they had a plan. Now we all hide ourselves, sitting in all sorts of cabinets, hiding places, so on, and we'll have a huge chance that he'll find us himself. I don't know, it's very strange. It's already night and I'm sitting here and I haven't seen a single name tag for half a day. I just needed to hold out a little more and as luck would have it, they noticed me right at the end of the night. Okay, okay, where can I hide? Oh my god, oh my god, there's a lot of them. What the hell? Let's go faster. I think he's gone here. Yeah, as you understand, the bot saved me at the last moment. In the meantime, morning has already come, which means that I successfully completed the 24-hour challenge on the icebreaker. Notification to the hunters. Z-Man won this location. What? He was sent to the magical world and you'll have to walk there with the slowness effect. Z-Man. He's done for. Notice to Zeman, you have entered Dodo Country. This is a puzzle location. Your task is to save the Dodo in order to go to the final location. Look, here's the Dodo bird. It's kind of like a statue. If you don't know, 
Dodos are like these birds. It's really amazing how the Hunter series combines action, survival, challenges, and even puzzles. My task was to figure out how to save the Dodo world. And if I don't have time, then all 35 Hunters will catch up with me, and there will be no chance I survive. To begin with, I decided to walk around the location. The first thing I came across was the village of these birds. Wait, look, Dodo Alex? Dodo Borea? Soma? Wow, look, I love pizza. I love pizza with pineapple. Why do they love pizza? Um, are they okay? After walking around the village a little more, I realized that it was possible to talk with every bird. Hello, welcome to Dodo Land. This is the place where we cook delicious pizza. Well, or rather, we cooked it until our world froze. Can I help you somehow? There is a legend that under a country, there is an incredible power that one day will save all the Dodos. We had a researcher. He almost got to the bottom of the truth, but we hadn't heard from him in a a long time. Check his nest at the edge of the village for clues. From the dialogue, I realized that we're in Dodo land and he is in great danger. I decided to check the village and find that very nest of the explorer where the clue was. It said that the explorer went to some ancient cave and where to look for it, I had no idea. Look, this place looks like a pizzeria and it's Dodo Pizza. We know these guys. It's gonna be night soon, so I decided to wait out the night in the pizzeria. Looking around the pizzeria, it was clear that it had been abandoned for a long time and I really wanted to save Dodo Land so that it would look good. Morning of the new day, there were already 40 hunters. It's good that at the moment my eyes have not seen them. While the hunters ran endlessly, I finally found the cave with the explorer. Primitive Dodo. There is also the Dodo Pizza logo. Here's the reason. Researcher. The Dodo researcher delved deeper into the study of primitive Dodos and found out that their civilization has been preparing delicious pizza for many generations, going through many difficulties, improving their recipes, and defeating a huge number of adversaries. He gave me a hint that there is some kind of rock art in this cave to the north, and maybe I can find something there. It's pretty clear that nothing is clear. Look, there is a picture here, and as I understand it, the stage of development of their pizzeria is indicated here, starting from an ordinary hut, ending with the medieval century and the present. And by the way, the pizzeria of the present time has this red arrow that leads somewhere under the pizzeria. Huh. It seems we need to get to the pizzeria right now. In the meantime, the hunters still had a little more to run and they had to hurry. So friends, let's look. We may have to dig. I don't know yet, but we'll try to find some loophole to somehow get down. I didn't have to dig anything. After a thorough study of the floor as well as the walls, I found a secret passage that led to the basement. And you can't even imagine what was in it. Look, it's a huge pizza oven. There's dough in the chest here. Let's try to throw it in there. Wow, guys, listen to the sound. When I went outside after that, I saw that all the snow was gone and the pizzeria was restored and became completely new. We saved the world of these birds. Now they can enjoy life and cook pizza especially for you. We were able to solve this puzzle before the hunters caught up with us. And we were already very close to our balloon. The second part of the video begins. I was teleported with the hunters to a new location. It was the taiga. Our task is to find and repair the balloon. If we succeed, we win today. Okay, friends. I was teleported to some new location. And where's all the snow? Look, there is no snow at all. I'm guessing that this is the final location. We need to find a balloon here and just fly away on it. Okay, there's a machine gun over here. Nice! An enchanted golden apple, five golden apples, something else, durable cloth and a fishing rod. Come on, let's catch big fish and small... Wait, what am I doing? The first building I came across at this location was a supermarket. I decided to loot it right away. Look, I found some kind of store or something. I feel like the loot here is gonna be really good. I don't know guys, I hope we're gonna survive today against the hunters. In some ways, I think this is on the verge of impossible. Look, there is a sniper rifle here! Despite the fact that the location is simply huge, there are also a lot of hunters. They're just everywhere and of course, they noticed me. Okay, I see a hunter! Okay, one hunter. Okay, I see one. I see the name tag, guys. Okay, let's shoot, let's shoot. Come on, come on. I have a machine, guys, now. Today, it's gonna be like this. Whatever skill I have, but there's still a lot of them. Tomorrow, their number will reach 100 people and will double. What is this? Is that Anton flying in a helicopter? Oh, come on. Fighting them is simply impossible, so I decided to go through the back door, and I actually managed to get away from them. I remind you that our most important task right now is to find the balloon. So, finally, a hundred people. We split into two groups, the second one is somewhere behind in the mountains with Grizzly. Uh, there are probably not 50 people here, of course, since I did not gather everyone who ran through the forest, but this does not negate the fact that we, the hunters, are a hundred people. Let's go. In the meantime, on the morning of the next day, I saw this tower. 
and decided to climb it, since everything around would be clearly visible from there. I see some kind of tower over there. We have a new day, and I barely managed to escape from the hunters. So, well, let's go upstairs and see what's up there. Yeah, friends, I don't know if I can win today. In any case, I really hope so, but the chances are pretty slim. By the way, I already collected seven durable fabrics of some kind while walking around the map. Oh my god, wait! Oh no! Here's the balloon! Okay, we need to go there right away! Okay guys, there's no hunters over here. To repair a balloon, you need 20 durable cloth. Of course, everything is not so simple. I only have 7, so I need 13 more. I started looking for this fabric in all the dungeons in this forest. I had very few chances. I don't have enough resources, and I don't even have diamond armor. And that moment has come. I came to some station. Okay friends, I wonder what this is. Our task here is to find as much as this fabric as possible. Back then, I didn't know that this was a trap. Okay, great, there's some ammo here. Oh, oh my god, Hunter, there's one, th there's two. I thought that they didn't notice me, but that turned out to be a mistake. What the hell is that? How did they find me? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, I got one, another one. Oh my god. I was going to fight till the end, but it was clear that the more I sit here, the more hunters will come. In this video, we put so much effort into winning. We were so close to flying on that hot air balloon, but things don't always go the way you want. I was shooting at the hunters for about 10 minutes, but at some point, I run out of ammo. Half HP, half HP. Okay, okay. Stop, guys. Stop. Just stop. Well, Z-Man, you finally got caught. What did you think? There are like a hundred of us after all. I'm with... Ugh, I tried for so many days. Well, what are my options? In fact, there are no options. You humiliated us the whole game, this and previous time. But there is still one opportunity for you to survive. You need to go to prison with us. And what are you trying to say? I lost this challenge, but I can still have a rematch in the third episode? That is exactly what I want to say. Let's get a lot of likes and in the next episode Z-Man will try to escape from the prison of the hunters. Today, the hunters defeated me. It was difficult, but they did it. That's all. Zeman was with you. Good luck to everyone. Bye.